Yeah, man. What's up, Vicious Ortiz? Not much, brother. Just, uh, just hanging. Good, it's man. been uh, busy ever since they broke my, my job, man. I've been uh, on the entrepreneurship side of things. You know, it's, it's not that I that I want to, but it's well, I do want to. But at the same time, it's not like like I was given an option. You know? Yeah. I uh, yeah, yeah. I had a little pursue, break. Yeah. From, from I had to pursue what 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 I needed to do. You know, um, and, and in this case, I need to make a living. Man. So so I had a you know come out with some ideas. Uh, I got my, my whole group, my whole team involved uh, in, in my management side of, of business, you know? So uh, we've been having a lot of fun and at the same time, just kind of just kind of doing our thing, you know? Cool. Well, for those of you that don't know, I'm here today with Vicious Victor Ortiz on behalf of multiple things, including upscale recording and the Change the Fate Foundation, which basically what we do is we take not only Latinos, but other people that come from uh, bad circumstances, and we try to change their life around. And I wanted to invite Victor here today uh, because, I mean, he's one that came up uh, from, from terrible circumstances, and now we're here, and as someone that has success, I, I definitely wanted to just take this opportunity and pick his brain and kind of find out what he's doing and what he plans to do in the future uh, for not only Latinos, but for people around the globe that, that you know, have less fortunate families and less fortunate circumstances. So I definitely appreciate Absolutely. you being here. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to dive into my first question, you know. Yeah, of course. And one of those things is, you know, I, I read your background and where you came from. And, you know, you definitely had to struggle, uh, you know, in your adolescent years and as a teenager. And, you know, the first question that I have for you is, what what do you feel made you uh, different or made you want to change or aspire to something? Because there's there's so many people that don't feel they have that opportunity. You know, believe it or not, and uh, I didn't really have much of a choice either as a kid, man. Uh, for some reason, you know, I'm seven years old, I have absolutely nothing, you know, no one. You come home from school to an empty, broken home with everyone just gone, you know? People who brought you into this earth, and it's kind of, to me, I didn't take it as, oh, poor me, this and that. Like, I really took the bull by the horns and said, I'm gonna be something one day. But at the time, my father did introduce me to boxing. So that was one good thing he did for me, and, and uh, I was very natural at it, very good. So, uh, I put it into my mind that year, seven years old, and I said, I'm going to be world champion one day in boxing. Don't know when, but I will be. And new WBC welterweight champion of the world, vicious Victor Ortiz. I had my, my ups, I had my downs as a kid, and. It was, it was a rough patch, man. There were times where no food on the table, no, a lot of times, uh, no clothing, no, no shoes, no, you name it. It was just a poor kid with a dream. But unlike a lot of people, I guess I was a little dumb enough to believe in myself, you know? I've always had a dream and a goal. To me, it was just a matter of time. And that was to be champion of the world. I wasn't supposed to amount to anything. I'm supposed to be the guy that's either selling drugs or on the streets doing something or in jail. I could honestly wake up in the morning, I look at the sun come up right here and I'm just like, dude, you did all right, man. <laughs> 